Earlier this week, Apple officially updated its 13-inch MacBook Pro models. And in this video, we're going to unbox and go over everything that you need to know about this new laptop from Apple. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. The update to the 13-inch MacBook Pro is going to seem small. And that's because, well, in the grand scheme of things, it's a pretty small update. We picked up the base model, which kind of seems like a bad idea now that I think about it, because it actually shares a lot of the same specs and components from the previous generation. If you're confused because you heard Apple updated its eighth generation Intel processors to 10th gen and added more RAM and storage options, etc., well, that is true. Apple did beef up the specs and internals, but only for the higher end models. This baseline model still has the same 8th generation Intel Core i5 processor and 8 gigabytes of RAM, but you do get 256 gigs of storage on the base model, which is up from the standard 128 gigs that was offered prior to this new release. If you want the new processor, if you want up to 32 gigabytes of RAM and 4 terabytes of SSD internal storage, well, you're gonna have to pay more, like a lot more. Maxing out the 13-inch will run you $3,000, which leads to the obvious question, at least in my mind, of why not just go for the 16-inch MacBook Pro, which will give you more performance and a bigger display. I get that you probably want the 13-inch because of the size, but at that point, it seems like kind of a waste of the extra cash. I don't know. Anyways, the base model ultimately remains untouched in terms of the hardware, and Geekbench should show us similar scores to the last model. For those who have the previous generation, the only thing you might be considering for this upgrade is the new keyboard. Apple has officially fixed all of its laptops, removing the last of its butterfly switch mechanism and replacing it all with the magic keyboard that has the scissor switch keys, inverted T arrows, and a physical escape key. We talked about this keyboard a lot over the last few months, so I won't spend too much time on it, but just know that it's still the same typing experience as you might find on the 16-inch MacBook Pro and the new 13-inch MacBook Air that we checked out last month. It has modest key travel, it feels great, it's responsive, it's quiet compared to the old butterfly switches. Yes, I did prefer the sound and the feel of the butterfly keys, but these scissor switches are no doubt the better options moving forward. That's really it. The display remains 13 inches, despite many rumors suggesting that Apple will be decreasing the bezels to accommodate an extra inch of screen real estate, like what they did on the 16 inch MacBook Pro. I kind of wish we did get a bigger display, but hopefully that's still coming in the next update. This bezel just feels so big and outdated, but obviously it doesn't affect any day-to-day -day use. It's just more of a cosmetic thing that I would personally like. For them to fix and you still get the same headphone jack on one side and two thunderbolt three ports on the other but if you do get the higher end model the improved graphics card does allow for full 6k resolution on the pro display xdr so there's that uh, the webcam is still terrible and overall it still looks and feels like another regular macbook pro minus that new keyboard of course I wish I had more exciting things to share, but this is definitely just an incremental update. It was necessary, at least for the higher end models and definitely for the keyboard, but it's still a minor update. If you go with those higher end models, you'll definitely enjoy better performance over those who went with the base model like we did, but that's really where all the differences lie. The keyboard is the main selling point for this update, and if your other older MacBook Pro is still working okay, I'd probably just stick with that for now. Of course, I would love to know your thoughts. Are you looking to pick up one of these 13-inch MacBook Pros? If so, what machine are you upgrading from? Uh, be sure to let me know all of that in the comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.